y'all Rob Anderson clean power wash cleanpowerwash.com Salisbury Maryland um, it's been a while since I've made a, uh, a car video um, I've not been in my f-150 lately uh, I got a new vehicle for doing estimates uh, Volkswagen Passat uh, got it from my grandfather but much much better uh, fuel economy than this gas guzzling truck uh, that needs gas right now apparently so um it's may it's crazy um it's memorial day weekend coming up um, we have been scrambling and trying to continue to add more and more jobs these last couple days um, we want to really try and hit some new records is what i'm trying to do uh, which every month right now and, and really with the way the business has been going it keeps on being another record um, We've officially got 80 grand on the books and I'm pushing to, to try and get us all the way to 85 um, Which is insane It's insane guys. I, I want to be clear too when I tell you these numbers. I'm not Trying to to brag. I'm happy about it. You know, I'm excited about it um, but I've, I've seen some some resentment and some of the the comments and things about not being able you know I can't afford to, to do this and that um, and I'll look back and figure out when it was that I got my first proportioner um, but it's a decision you have to make it's not about oh well Rob can afford to do that because you know he's do you're doing so much a week okay yeah that that makes things more affordable that we've got more cash flow to be able to handle it um, but I want to say when, when I bought my first proportioner we were doing that I don't even know if we were doing 20 grand a month yet um, I know we bought it in like an April May June time frame so we did have some extra cash coming in but it's that decision it's just like with any other upgrade you do in your business you're deciding to delay some personal compensation to make that upgrade to be able to get your job done faster. It's not, oh well, you know, we're making thirty grand a month now. Let's upgrade. No, like if you're if you're to the point if you're making five thousand bucks and you want to go ahead and be able to make more money, get those jobs done faster. You have to decide to put more of the money that's coming in towards upgrading your equipment, towards making those investments that will save you time, save you money, um, which is the same thing. Um, and also saving money on, on other things like, you know, using less bleach, less time being spent making your mixes. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna be buying a big air compressor today to speed up our bleach filling process. Because when you realize that you're paying somebody somehow is being paid to fill bleach. So if we can do a job to, to transfer you know, the 100 gallons of bleach that we need to fill the, the different trucks, if we can do it in 10 minutes versus it taking 30 minutes, that saves us 20 minutes a day, five days a week. So you're at you know an hour and 40 minutes in just a week that you've saved. If you've got somebody that's making 15, they're basically costing you about 20. So you're saving 30 bucks a week with just one person on site when you're doing that. Uh, we try to get the bleach filled up in the evenings and have them doing other things. Um, but if you can cut that time down substantially, get people in and out faster, again, that 30 bucks, 120 bucks a month is basically what it's costing us per month to have a slower air compressor, to have a slower filling process. And it's actually, it's probably double or triple that because most times if it's not filled up at night, then the guys are waiting in the morning. And then all of a sudden now we have five guys waiting for an extra 15 to 20 minutes for their truck to be filled up before they can go to work. Um, so again, there's a bunch of things in there that for the improvements, but you know, spending that $500 um, or $600 on a, on a big air compressor, um, probably buying one that'll it'll do double digits as far as the um, cubic feet per minute which is inverse uh, pretty pretty closely related to your actual flow and your gallons per minute uh, and transferring um, what we've been using is one that only puts about four and a half 
um, and it just takes a long time and the, the compressor's running the whole time versus with this other one that we'll be buying, it should be able to run, fill up, shut down, keep transferring and then be able to um, you know, not have to, to burn out the other air compressor that we've got. Um, on that air compressor note too, if you're running an air diaphragm system, um, everybody always wants to talk back and forth about air diaphragm versus booster pump. Uh, having a second air compressor um, 